Well, hey, uh, we're going to do another quick install. I want to install uh, Mono Develop. I really like C Sharp and uh, I like writing it on Linux. Um, and .NET Core is, well, yeah, I like .NET Framework. And it's just, it seems fun making Microsoft stuff run on Linux. So here we go. Uh, let's. Go ahead and open the browser. It would be old Mono Develop website. Platform, cross platform IDE for C sharp, F sharp, and more. Anyway, um, makes it easy to port .NET stuff to uh, other operating systems. Let's go to the download page, and we're on Linux, uh, we're on Debian, so here we go. I mean, it's pretty easy. I've done this quite a few times on many machines, so we'll just follow the instructions here for Debian 10. I'm sure Debian 11 probably would work. We'll have to try it. Um, however, it's pretty easy, so I'm going to go ahead and pop up the terminal and make it easy we'll just do this so first is the um and we'll just type it well we're not going to type all of it now we're going to do a copy and paste this time because Ooh, we so we'll do this in the password already installed probably installed with uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, next is this pseudo apt key add I'm gonna add that basically just imports the uh, <clears throat> key blobby 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 I don't know if you really want to know about that you'll have to look into apt and uh, all its good stuff next one will run this is literally just adding the repo to a <coughs> separate file mono hyphen official hyphen vs dot list in your sources.list.d file or folder which allows you to write files specifically for specific repos and then uh, and then we'll just do a sudo app update get the new goodies in our new goodie metadata from the repo there uh where is it at? Uh oh, there it is, the mono project. Download dot mono project. <clears throat> oh. And then the, the 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 easiest part, of course, is the pseudo at install a mono develop yes please seven hundred some megabytes it might take a second <laughs> Fairly large package. Oh, 
App apt gives you the fancy progress bar. Apt get doesn't. I I mean apt has search, which is cool. I'm not sure if app hyphen get does. Either which way. For the videos and the demonstration purposes, I'll just use apt. I'm doing some pre-compiling. This may take a few minutes. There we go. Should speed through the rest of the way. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Back to the window. All right, let's see if we have it. Programming. There it is. Mono develop. Make a test C sharp application and see what happens. There it is. All right, now one of the first things I do, is it at tools, no, edit preferences. The, the standard theme is um, a little rough on my eyes. We'll go ahead and change it to the dark. Of course, it needs a restart. So we'll load it back up. There we go, much better. Way better on my eyeballs. All right, so new solution. We want a .NET console project just for this little demonstration. Click next, we'll give it a name, and we'll go There we go. We'll do it there for now. Change that later. Great. There we go. I mean, it basically wrote it for us. We've got the using the system. We got our namespace. We've got our main class. So the one difference is the scaffolding. I realized that. In Visual Studio on Windows, when it initializes a project and gives you the old boilerplate code, this class is program. That's the only difference, literally, um, that I've found as far as scaffolding and whatnot. Okay, let's try to execute it. Well, we'll build it first. Make sure we get no fail. Build successful. There we go. All right, now let's 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 try to debug it. Oh no! Well, why did it fail? I wonder why. Because there's no breakpoint. Oh no! I wonder why. Well, first thing always got to do is is go into here. And debugger, no, 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 build. Crap, where's it at? Did they move it? Uh, maybe, 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 Maybe it's in the project options. General. No. Where the heck is it?
See, now I'm... Now I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's already checked. Uncheck it and see what happens. Yeah. I think it ran. There we go. Yep. Okay. So, where's it at? Oh, there it is. Oh, there. There we go. Here's the application output. Uh, we're stopped at the breakpoint. Console right line. Hello world. We're gonna go ahead and put another one. Right. I pin that. Pin that open. Oh, what do you mean? Hey. And we'll hit continue. Okay, so it should have wrote hello world in the screen. There it is. Hello world. Cool. Uh, we'll just hit continue and exit it out. Oh, there it is. Hello world. All right, well, let's go ahead and write another line. We'll remove this one. That one never gets hit. Start debugging. From here, heard the breakpoint. Application output. Did it not? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's because I pinned that one. Sure. There we go. Thanks for watching. Cool. Awesome. See you next time.